Hello guys, my name is Yogesh Gupta and in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to synchronize your files and folders from one system to another and the same process can be used to copy as well from one system to another. So for the purpose of this tutorial we'll be using a Microsoft tool that is SyncToy and you can get this tool from Google. You can search it and the first link that is SyncToy 2.1 download you need to download that now before installing you need to install its prerequisite site and it has a prerequisite site of dotnet 2.0 and for enabling that feature you need to go on your control panel uninstall a program turn windows features on and off and here you need to select dotnet framework 3.5 which also includes your dotnet 2 and 3 so once you are done with this you can install uh, this sync toy now for the time constraint I have already installed this tool uh, so let me give you a demo of what we'll be doing in this tutorial so this is my source folder which contains uh, videos uh, ISO and files now I will be replicating this to a destination system so this would be my destination folder and let me delete everything that's already existing here Okay, so I have deleted and this is my destination folder. So I will be replicating this data there. So for the purpose, I will be using SyncToy tool. So open the SyncToy and this is how its interface looks like. Click on new folder pair. Now select the data that is the source of your data. So I will be selecting in my desktop source. Now for the destination, I will be selecting the UNC path for the shared folder. So here I will select Helios and the folder name is destination and I click on next. So here we can see that there are three ways. So synchronize is basically it will add delete everything in two ways. E either you delete it from source or destination the same gets replicated to the other end. Echo would be basically it will only work from left to right and contribute it only re uh, updates your renames and uh, add new file however it won't delete anything so for the purpose of this tutorial i'll be using contribute and i'll click on next uh, give it any name and click on finish so it will give you an overview of what has been done and you can also check and change options if you want to exclude any files or something you can do the same you can also have a preview of what will be copied from source to destination it will give you a quick summary and once you are through with it it will also give you all the operations that it will be new since there's nothing created in our destination and this is my source and this would be my destination so once you have verified all the settings you can go and click on run so it will start the process so guys as i can see all my data has been successfully replicated as per the logs so let's check at my destination and in my destination system and in the folder i am able to see all my data so that's all for this tutorial in case you have any queries or question Please uh, post it in the comment section below and I'll be glad to help you.